वेलकम टू द सेकेंड वीडियो ऑन ऑर्डर ऑफ एन एलिमेंट इफ यू हैव नॉट वॉच द फर्स्ट वीडियो देन प्लीज लुक एट द लिंक इन द डिस्क्रिप्शन फॉर द फर्स्ट वन आई विल रिमाइंड यू दैट वी हैव अ मोटिवेटिंग प्रॉब्लम विच इज 17 to the power n divided by 2 to the power 2005 gives remainder 1 find smallest positive value of n that was our motivating problem and we gave an example of the set u15 which contains elements 1 2 4 7 8 11 13 14 14 u15 is this particular set which contains elements which are less than 15 and relatively prime to 15 that means they have hcf1 with 15 each of these elements have hcf1 with 15 we say that order of an element let's say 2 divides the order of this set that means the number of elements in this set what is the meaning of order of this set it is the number of elements in this set so how many elements are there 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 so order of this set is 8 and we say that the order of 2 divides the or number 8 okay what is the order of 2 it is the smallest value to which when 2 is raised gives 1 i'll remind you one more time the value is 4 and why is that because 2 to the power 4 is 16 and when you divide 16 by 15 the remainder is 1 that was the operation you compute the actual number which is in this case 16 and find out the remainder when divided by 15 if the remainder is 1 then you say this number is the order of this particular element so order of 2 is 4 notice that 4 divides 8 order of 4 is 2 why because 4 squared is 16 if you divide it by For fifteen, the remainder you get is one. So four square, you can say it's congruent to one. Order of four is two, and so on. Our main theorem, which we will not prove, because we say that it can be proved number theoretically but it can also be proved group theoretically and we prove prefer the group theoretic proof so order of to an element divides the order of the set that is the number of elements of the set the cardinality of the set which is a different way of saying the cardinality of the set the main theorem and uh, we will not prove it here but we will be proving it in a separate lecture on group theory in fact that's how we do it in our math olympiad program for i think level 5 and 6 and 8 but for the moment we will take this as a fact and we will proceed with the motivating problem so 17 to the power n when divided by 2 to the power 2005 gives remainder 1 we want to find such an n 
so in fact we are trying to find out order of 17 what is the order of 17 okay in which set in which set well you are dividing by 2 to the power 2005 because in the previous case you were dividing by 15 so you took the numbers which are less than 15 and relatively prime to 15. This time you are dividing by 2 to the power 2005. So you want the numbers which are less than 2 to the power 2005 and relatively prime to 2 to the power 2005. Which basically means these numbers have HCF1 with 2 to the power 2005. They do not have any common factor with 2 to the power 2005. So how many numbers are there which do not have any common factor with 2 to the power 2005? Well, all even numbers, right? From 1 to, two one to 2 to the power 2005, all even numbers, because they are divisible by 2, they have a common factor, have at least a common factor greater than 1 with 2 to the power 2005. Every even number is divisible by 2. So clearly, the GCD or the HCF with 2 to the power 2005 is at least 2. So it's greater than 1. Odd numbers do not have that problem. Odd numbers do not have that problem. So half of the numbers, half of the numbers from 1 to 2 to the power 2005 will have HCF 1 with 2 to the power 2005. Let me write that. Half of the numbers from 1 to 2 to the power 2005, that is the odd numbers, they have highest common factor as 1 with 2 to the power 2005. So half of the numbers means you just divide 2 to the power 2005 by 2. So 2 to the power 2004. So this particular set of numbers, this particular set of numbers contains 2 to the power 2004 numbers. The numbers which are less than 2 to the power 2005 and relatively prime to 2 to the power 2005. Okay. So clearly order of 17, since 17 is having, 17 is in this set, it's an odd number. Clearly the order of 17 will divide 2 to the power 2004, which is the order of this set. Order of 17 divides 2 to the power 2004. So let me write that. Order of 17 divide 2 to the power 2004, which is the order of that set. Okay. So what would be the order of 17? Order of 17 is n in that particular expression. So n divides 2 to the power 2004 so n is itself a power of 2 has to be right because anything that divides 2 to the power 2004 must be comprised of 2 only so any number that has only prime factors 2 is a power of 2 could be 2 to the power 1 just 2 but it could be larger power of 2 so what is it that we have here? We have 17 to the power some 2 to the power k when divided by 2 to the power 2005 gives remainder 1. That's what we have. 
which basically means that 17 to the power 2 to the power k minus 1 you d if I subtract the remainder then this particular quantity is divisible by 2 to the power 2005 fantastic we are at the very end of the problem what we will do is we will see how can we factorize this particular expression 17 to the power 2 to the power k minus 1 well it's very easy to factorize it just use the use the a square minus b square formula so a square minus b square is a plus b times a minus b let's use that so let's go to a new page and factorize 17 to the power 2 to the power k minus 1 this is an easy factorization it's 17 minus 1 times 17 raised to 1 plus 1 17 square plus 1 and it will go on up to 17 to the power 2 to the power k minus 1 plus 1 okay now this factor 17 minus 1 is simply 16 which is 2 to the power 4 recall we want to make sure that this object is divisible by 2 to the power 2005 so basically 2005 twos multiplied together now four of these twos are here so we want to extract or make sure that 2 to the power 2001 divides this portion now there is a very critical observation so let me write it down observation that 17 to the power any number let's say j plus 1 is divisible by 2 of course because it's a odd number raised to the power some number so of course it's odd plus 1 is even so this is divisible by 2 but not by 4 8 or any other higher powers of 2 now why is that because 17 is congruent to 1 mod 4 if you divide 17 by 4 the remainder is 1 so 17 to the power j is also congruent to 1 mod 4 so you can easily see that 17 to the power j plus 1 is congruent to 2 mod 4 so any power of 17 plus 1 is not divisible by 4 because it gives a remainder 2 if it's not divisible by 4 certainly it's not divisible by 8 or any other higher power of 2 so that's great because then each of these factors each of the factors here is divisible by 2 and not by any higher power of 2 so question is how many of these factors do you need to find out that this product is divisible by 2 to the power 2001 it's very simple it's just one line I will give you the final answer in the comment after a couple of days after you have tried so I have put it on the comment and pin it in the meantime try it and if you find the answer you can put the answer in the comment thank you for watching this video i will see you in the next one